That's it, little red tractor. Keep him coming. Whoa! What's that, Uncle Walter? Yeah, that's Stan's traction engine, that is. And today, we're finally going to get him going. Way cool! Oh, yeah? We'll pin your ears back and get a load of this. No, I meant the traction engine. Way cool. And she weighs a cool ten tons, Leo. Traction engines were designed to pull very heavy loads. Well, maybe it could pull us all round the beach farm for Mr Jones' barbecue. Oh, yes. I'd almost forgotten about the barbie. Well, this engine isn't going to pull anything unless we get her going again. Come on, Stan. First of all, we need to fire up the boiler. Boiler? Yeah. This doesn't run on petrol. It's steam-driven. Weird. What time's everyone coming round, Uncle Jasper? They are supposed to be here at about five o'clock, but there won't be much point if I can't get this wretched barbecue together. How's anyone without a degree in mechanical engineering supposed to... Oh, I don't know. <clears throat> Where are the instructions again? Here you are, Uncle Jasper. Oh, they're completely incomprehensible. I, ah, it was upside down. <clears throat> so ridiculous, it says here. So simple, a child of five could put it together. Well, don't look at me, Uncle Jasper. I'm eight. <clears throat> oh, look at that. What am I supposed to do that stupid thing? Nah. I will do it. I'm going to keep at it all night if that's what it takes. But Uncle Jasper, everyone will be here for the barbecue soon. Yes, Thomas, I know. Oh, the wind blows a windmill, sails around, and in the mill the flour is ground, the flour we use to bake the bread. That keeps all the fuel. Hey, hey, will you stop making that racket? Well, sorry, Elsie, I was just fixing Nibra's exhaust. I'm not talking about that noise, Stumpy. I mean that horrible bellowing sound. Well, that was singing. Oh, that's what you call it, is it? <laughs> well, you can sing all the way to Mr Jones's. I've baked some cakes to take to the barbecue, and I want you to take them round there. OK, Elsie, just as soon as I fix... What? Oh, sorry, Nipper. Oh, the wind blows a windmill around... Stumpy! <laughs> I don't get it. It's got up a good head of steam, but it's just not working. Pressure's looking good, Stan. Still no luck? Not yet. I'll take a look underneath, see if there's any loose connections in the pipes. Anyone check the valve chest? <laughs> Still going. Great stuff, Nicola. What did you do? Nothing. Nah, it was me, Stan. Not lost the old touch, eh? <laughs> Gave the old valve chest a whack and box. Stan? Stan? I can't stop it. Hang on, Nicola. Gotcha. Yeah, whoa, whoa. Nicola, jump. I can't. It'll run riot through Babble Brook. Leave this to me and Little Red Tractor. Don't worry, we'll catch up with them, and then we'll... we'll... we'll think of something. There! Wasn't that difficult after all? Uh, are you sure that's how it's supposed to look? It is a bit, um, isn't it? Still, I'm sure it'll work just fine. Now to fire it up. Uncle Jasper. Turn on the gas. I don't think it's very good. And light it. Oh dear. Uncle Jasper, is the barbecue off? I rather think it is. Walter sells those throwaway barbecues at his garage. Good thinking, Thomas. Of course, that's what we'll do. Mm. To blaze us with this heap of old scrap metal, let's go and get ourselves some proper barbecues. Any luck? No! It looks like it's stuck in go mode! Don't worry, Nicola. I'll get the gate. Come on, little red tractor. Phew! That was close. Whoa! The wind blows a windmill, sails around, and in the Stop middle of the... Me. Oh, Look out! 
Nicola, are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. But you've got to stop the traction engine. It's going straight towards Mr Jones's house. Wow. Quick, little red tractor. What happened? Got to stop it. Easy does it, little red tractor. OK. Now, brake. That's it. You're holding her. The valve chest, Nicola. Try doing what Walter did. Brilliant. Well done, Nicola. Great stuff, little red tractor. Well, I don't reckon Mr Jones is going to think it's brilliant when he sees what you've done to his barbecue. Oh, no. I guess we'll just have to own up. Mr. Jones? Uh, Mr. Jones? Mr. Jones? I don't think he's here. Must have popped out for something. Well, in that case, we might just get away with it, Stan. <laughs> Reckon we can put it back together as good as new. Hello, who's the... Why, of all the selfish... It is Sunday, Uncle Jasper. Yes, but I need those barbecues. I need some tricks. Oh, what's the use? Come on, Thomas. We'll just have to tell everyone the barbecues are... <laughs> like I said, he'll never know the difference. Phew. And now you and I have got a spot more work to do, Little Red Tractor. Nicola, can you steer the traction engine again while Little Red Tractor tows her back to Gosling Farm? That's it, Little Red Tractor. Not looking forward to telling everyone the barbecue's off, I can tell you, Thomas. Not looking forward to it one little... Uncle Jasper, look! What on earth? Come on, then. All aboard and let's get to that barbie. Hmm. Nice barbie you've got there, Mr Jones. Yes, it's a kit job, you know. They say they are hard to assemble, but me, well, put it together in no time at all. Ah, Stumpy and Elsie, good to see you. Mr Jones here was telling me these things are a doddle to put together. Well, not a doddle, exactly. It does take a mechanical mind, a fair bit of technical know-how, a bit of expertise. Oh, it wasn't that hard, Mr. Jones. <laughs> no, surprisingly simple, actually, on the, uh, the, on the, on the, the... What? You mean... I've got a confession to make. I'm afraid that earlier on I had a bit of an accident with it, but I hope we put it back together again OK. You mean... You put it together? It's lucky you did, Stan. When Uncle Jasper tried, it kept falling apart, didn't it? So, um, you didn't put it together then, Mr. J? No, I, I, well, I, I, I think the sausages are just about ready, don't you? <laughs> Come and get it! Oh, yeah, and it's it's starving. Starving. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter who made the barbie, just so long as there's plenty of lovely grub. <laughs> Ah, that should be plenty. At least enough to give you a good wash, Patch. <gasps> now, I know you don't like it, but you're starting to smell. So, let's get on. Patch? Oh, don't tell me. He's run off. <laughs> Save me, little red tractor. <laughs> what are you two up to? I've got to hide from Ryan. I'm pretending to be the Beast of Bubblebrook. <laughs> I thought you would be too young to have heard that old story. It's one of our favourite scary stories. We're getting ready for our camping trip. We always tell scary stories when we go camping. Camping, eh? Can we camp on your land? Mum says we can go camping. As long as she knows where we are. So can we? Can we, Stan? Of course. I'm having an evening in, so if you need anything or get scared... I won't get scared, but Amy might. I will not. <laughs> well, Little Red Tractor and I will be here if you need us. 
Great! Thanks, Stan. Right, now where is that dog? I guess he'll be home when he gets hungry. Come on, little red tractor. I need to get a video for my evening in. Mom, Big Blue, this new muck spreader works a treat. Hard to believe that this smelly old muck can be so good for the crops. One field down and one to go. Uh, I really shouldn't do this, but we'll leave the spreader on and it will save us some valuable time. No one's a mart. Come on. Morning, Mr. G. Off we go. Oh, I can't see a thing. It's all in my eyes. I... Oh, that's made it worse. Oh, Mr. Jones, when I get hold of you... Ah, oh, 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 nettles! Oh, ow, oh, oh, my hands! Oh. oh, why, 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 when we're so close to home? Oh. Oh. What? Nah, it can't be. Oh! It is. It's the... It's the... It's the Beast of Babblebrook. And it's coming this way. Look, we've got to get out of here. Oh, please, Rusty, please! Oh, 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 oh. Look, if you don't move now, we're going to be the Beast of Babblebrook's lunch. And you're the main course. Oh, you little beauty! Right, let's split. Hey! <laughs> Sounds like Rusty. Walter, are you there, Walter? Here you go, Stan. Chad Twinkle's new film. I've been looking forward to seeing this one. There's a great scene where he has to jump onto a runaway tractor. The Beast. I I've seen the Beast. The Beast of Babblebrook. I've just seen it. You can't have. That's just an old story. It's real. I've seen it with my own eyes. Oh, you must be mistaken. Well, I'm not taking any chances. I'm locking myself and you, Nicola, inside the garage. Now, come on, Rusty. Perhaps your dad did see something. We'll go check on our cows just in case. Now, one more load should cover it. Hold on. What on earth? No, it can't be. It is. It's the... it's the... the, the beast of Babelbrook. Oh, dear. Dear, dear me. Right. Now what to do? Ah, uh, yes, that's it. Hide. Must hide. Hide till it goes away. Come on, big blue. Hello, ladies. Well, they all seem fine. Let's get on home and see if we can bath that dog. Strange. Why would Stumpy leave Nipper here? We'd better tow him out of the way, but I wonder where Stumpy is. Hello, you two. What's up? Mum won't let us go camping on our own tonight. Walter told her he saw the Beast of Babblebrook. Oh, you know there's no such thing. We know, but Walter went on and on about it. Now Mum sort of believes him. Why don't you ask a grown-up to go with you? I'm sure your mum would be fine with that. Um, maybe. I'd come along, but I've still got to give Pat your bath. What about Mr Jones? Try asking him. OK, yeah. Come on, little red tractor. Let's get Nipper home. It was monstrous. All fur and teeth. Yeah, yeah, and claws. Fur and teeth and claws. Scary, it's very scary. Here you go. Two loaves of bread and ten tins of soup. Lovely. Right, I'm off to hide until the beast is caught. I suggest you do the same. Cheerio! Mr Jones has got the right idea. Quick, Nicola, come on, get inside. Both as bad as each other. Looks like he's busy. Let's ask him anyway. Oh. 
If that's the beast, there's no one here. Go away! It's us, Mr. Jones. Amy and Ryan. Oh, well, you two shouldn't be out alone, not with the beast of Babelbrook roaming the countryside. There's no such thing, Mr. Jones. Of course there is. Now go home directly and don't stop to talk to any strange monsters on the way. But, Mr. Jones... Home! Grown-ups are really weird. Oh, I can't believe it. This day's getting worse. Patch. Patch. Have you given Patch his bath yet? Not yet. I've got to catch him first. What did Mr Jones say about the camping? He's too busy hiding from the beast. <laughs> Look, I've had an idea. What if you camp here in the farmyard? Here? We can put your tent in here, which means I'm seconds away. And if I park Little Red Tractor right by the side, he can keep an eye on you. Brilliant! Don't worry, I'll stop your runaway tractor. Oh, Jared, you're so brave, so fearless. <laughs> then there was a scratching at the door. Scratch, scratch, scratch. And when the old lady answered the door... Oh, what was that? The beast or Babble Brook. I'm not kidding, Amy. There's something out there. <gasps> oh. Amy, it's the beast. Yeah, right. <gasps> Shh. It is. And it's heading right for us. Get behind, little red tractor. Help us, little red tractor. <laughs> what? Go! Oh. What's going on? This red tractor's caught the beast of Babblebrook. Sounds like he's caught something. But what? Stumpy? Stumpy? <laughs> you wouldn't believe the day I've had. Oh, I even managed to lose Nipper. Nipper is safe and sound. Ugh, what is that smell? Um, well, that'll be me. I do pong a bit. You know, I think it must have been you that Walter saw Stumpy wandering about the field. <laughs> Stumpy is the beast of Babblebrook. Little Red Tractor saved us from Stumpy. Ha! <laughs> I reckon he did a good job keeping an eye on the pair of you. He was really cool. You're my hero, Little Red Tractor. It's all right for some. We're going to get the old maypole up today, Patch. How do you fancy giving me a hand? Uh, paw. OK, you stay here. Little Red Tractor and I can manage. So, what's this maypole thing for, then? It's to welcome in the spring. We do it every year. It's planted in a field and then we tie ribbons to it. And dance around it. It's great. <laughs> Sounds a bit weird to me. Hiya, Stan! Hi, Little Red Tractor! Hello, you lot. Come to help with the maypole, eh, Leo? Uh, yeah. I think so. We've been telling Leo all about them. Not sure I'll be doing any dancing, though. Oh, you will. It's dead easy. Don't reckon it's my sort of dancing, though. I do a bit more like this. Oh, look at that. The old maypole's gone rotten over the winter. Ooh, there mightn't be any dancing at all. Oh, no! Still, we'll just go and find another. Come on, let's go to Tawny Owl Wood. We'll find something suitable there. Brilliant! Yeah. OK, let's get looking. Now, what we want is a nice, long, straight piece of wood. Not a living branch or anything. Can't take the living stuff. Bet I find it. Bet I do. Oh, the spring it is a coming in, coming in, coming in. The spring it is a. That's not very rock and roll, Dad. Well, no, but I, I, I'm practicing for the May Day celebrations tomorrow, aren't I? Oh, the spring it is a coming in, a coming in. Yeah, you're right. It's not very rock and roll. Whoa! Spring along a whopper bopper ding a bang a dong. Meow 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 meow. 
<laughs> now that's rock and roll. Uh, Stan, how about this? Would this do? Well done, Leo. Just the job. A dead tree. You'll have this down in no time, won't you, little red tractor? OK, stand back, you lot. Steady as you go. A good push and we'll have it. Timber! Yeah! 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 Red tractor! OK, now to strip it of its branches and plant it in the field. Uncle Jasper, I don't... Not just now, Thomas. I'm making sure my stall's all present and correct. Yes, and there's something Should make you... a pretty penny if the May Day celebrations can't beat May Day for a chance to make a spot of money. <laughs> my cheese went like hotcakes last... Um, last... Yeah. Oh, for goodness. That's what I've been trying to tell you, Uncle Jasper. Remember the bonfire you made just before Christmas? Oh. I use the legs to get the bonfire started. Yes, you said you wouldn't be needing them. How wrong I was. Mm -hmm. Just have to find something else. I'll bet Stan could help out. He usually has that sort of thing knocking about at Gosling Farm. There. One maypole all ready for May Day. No, it isn't. We need some ribbon, And we ought to paint it, too. Now that's what I call a good idea. I've got all the stuff we need back at the farm. Come on. All right then, Elsie, I will. Go and play somewhere else, she says. <laughs> i got to rehearse, don't I? Well, well, perhaps she's got a point. Might be better to rehearse together, like, and, and me and Walter ain't played it since last spring. Oh, the spring it is, a coming in, coming in, coming in, the spring it is. Oh, the spring it is. Stumpy, look out! Are you all right? Hmm. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, never better. Oh, sorry, Stan, should have been looking where I was going. On my way to Walters to do a spot of rehearsing. You know, for the May Day celebrations. Good stuff. But I don't think driving along with that thing on the handlebars was the best idea in the world. No, it wasn't. <clears throat> and now Nipper's... <clears throat> Nipper's stuck! <clears throat> Looks like another job for you, little red tractor. Good day to you. Here's a lovely day for it. Grass tasting nice today, is it? <laughs> oh, that was close. Could have given you a nasty scratch, Big Blue. Stupid place to leave a pole. Ah, a pole! Just the very thing we're looking for. No need to bother Stan now. I need to save someone else crashing into it, too. Right, Stumpy. We'll soon have Nipper out now. Steady as you go, Stan. Ooh, that's it, little red tractor. He's coming. Nice one, really little red tractor. There you go. Oh, thanks, Stan. <laughs> thanks, little red tractor. <sighs> right. <sighs> there. <laughs> and this time, make sure you can see where you're going. Oh, I will, Stan. Don't want to see the inside of another hedge today. <laughs> right. Come on, you lot. We've got a maypole to paint, remember? Yippee! Oh, yeah! Aha! Here they are. You can't go maypole dancing without some nice bright ribbons. Stan, can we use these paintbrushes? Yep, just the job. How about red? Or blue? No. A maypole has to be white. Here we are. Right. Let's get that maypole painted and quick. It'll be time for your tea pretty soon. It was just there. It can't have been. It was. Maybe it fell over. Maybe the cows decided to play with it. <laughs> I, I don't think so, Leo. Cows aren't usually that interested in games. Well, it's gone. We'll just have to go and find another one. Afraid not, Ryan. It's getting late. Then what about May Day? It won't be proper without a maypole. I'll think of something. I hope. 
But right now, it's time I was getting you back for your tea. Well, we've got a lovely day for it. Uncle Jasper? But now, Thomas, this requires a little concentration. But, Uncle Jasper, I thought there was supposed to be a maple. Whoa! Oh, steady, Nipper. <laughs> Hello there, young Thomas. Morning, Mr. Jones. Hmm. He's concentrating. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Walter here yet. Can't do the springtime song without... With... <laughs> Hang on. Where's the maypole? Stan said he'd planted one here yesterday. He was going to paint it and tie ribbons to it and all. Said it was here. Yeah, Mr Jones, you haven't seen it, have you? The maypole. The, uh, ma the, the, the maypole. The maypole? I... Ah. Uncle Jasper. Where did you get those new table legs from? Well, I, 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 oh dear. Something the matter, Mr. Jones. Stan, I, 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 I don't know where to begin. I've done something rather stupid. You, Mr. Jones. You, 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 you know that maypole? Yes, one minute it was here, next minute it was gone. Well, it's back here again. It's, um... <coughs> In four little bits. I didn't realise what it was. I, I, I'm sorry, Stan. Very, very sorry. I've spoilt everything. Oh, I'm sure we can think of something. <laughs> <laughs> I think Little Red Tractor may have the answer. Oh, the spring it is a coming in, coming in, coming in. The spring it is a coming in. Oh, thanks to Little Red Tractor. Oh, the spring it is a coming in, coming in, coming in. The spring it is a coming in, oh, thanks to Little Red Tractor. Oh. Morning, Mr. Jones. You getting the hay in? Certainly am. It's dried beautifully in this sunny weather. Better hurry, though. Looks as if it could rain any minute. Ah, no problem. Not with Big Blue on the job. Well, good luck. Morning, Nicola. Hi, Stan. Hello, you two. What can I do for you? Fill us up, would you, Walter? No problem. Thanks. See you later. Yeah, see ya. Oh, come on, Big Blue. What's the matter with you? Got a problem, Mr Jones? Oh, th this is so embarrassing, Stan. I, I can't for the life of me get him going. He was fine a moment ago, and, and now... It... Oh, this would happen on the day I'm trying to get the hay in before it rains. It'll be raining soon, that's for sure. Why don't you let us help? We'll take the wagon and get the hay while you sort out what's wrong with Big Blue. Really? You'll help? Oh, thank you, Stan. Why don't we see if Ryan and Amy would like to help with the hay? Hey, watch out! Oh, <laughs> good hay! <laughs> what's good exactly, Stumpy? Well, my emergency stop. Nearly perfect that time. Oh, got hold of a big hay wagon, I see. Very fancy. It belongs to Mr Jones. Big Blue's broken down, so we're getting the hay in for him. I'm just off to see if Ryan and Amy would like to help. You be careful, Stumpy. Don't overdo it. Oh, don't you worry about me, Stan. I'm getting the hanger nipper now. Bye! <laughs> Look, it's Stan and Little Red Tractor. Hiya. How would you both like to help with some haymaking? You bet. Jump up then. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Stumpy, I'm busy enough without having you bouncing around my garden. That wasn't bouncing. That was my emergency stop. Now, rumour has it, you and Big Blue here could do with some help. And I have come to provide it. Really? You know a lot about tractors? No. It's going to be one of those days. 
Right, let's get this lot back to Beach Farm. Try more throttle. I've tried more throttle. Ah, <laughs> try less throttle then. Oh, yes. This is useless. How's it going? It isn't. Darn if I know what to do, Stan. This could be a job for Nicola, you know. Hmm. I think you're right. OK. We'll unload and then get her. Now, why didn't you think of that, Mr Jones? Hello again, Walter. We've got an urgent message for Nicola. Nicola? Well, she's out, I'm afraid. Uh, not due back for a couple of hours. Anything I can help with? Big Blue's broken down. Can you have a look at him? Yeah, no problem. Let me get my toolbox and I'll be ready to go. Thanks, Walter. What about the garage? Oh, I'll put up a clothes sign. This shouldn't take long. Nicola's busy in Babblebrook, so I've come instead. You've certainly got a very smart toolkit. Thank you. Does it ever get used? Oh, now and again. Uh, now and again. Hmm. Well, you won't be needing my help now, so I shall go and help with the A-making. Yes, of course. Oh, I say, uh, Walter, you don't think something might have gone wrong with the Brackington Thurnbury fuel injection system, do you? I sincerely hope not. Whatever that is. Well done, everyone. Keep going. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, Stumpy's come to help. Good oh. Another pair of hands. Another pair of feet, anyway. Getting us nowhere. Ah, no wonder he's left something out. <laughs> Walter, you've forgotten this. That's my lunchbox. Oh no, they're back again, and Big Blue's still not working. This is so embarrassing. Better make myself scarce. Any luck? Try not. To tell the truth, I'm utterly flummoxed. I bet Nicola will know what to do. Stumpy, we're going to unload and then go back for the last of the hay. Would you go and see if Nicola's back yet? Certainly will, Stan. We're on our way. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, Nicola? Nicola? Nicola! Hello, Stumpy. Oh, thank goodness you're back. Are you starting a new fashion or something? <laughs> Looks a bit like it, doesn't it? <laughs> now, help me out of this, then you'd better get the beach farm right away. Your dad could use a hand. We've nearly done it. Keep going. I think we're just going to make it before the rain comes. I don't know. Boy, I can't think of anything else to try. <laughs> <laughs> hello there, Mr. Jones. Um, hello, Stumpy. Hi, Dad. How are you doing? Not good, Nicola. I'm blowed if I can see anything wrong with him. Mind if I have a look? Feel free. Mr. Jones? Mr. Jones? He's behind here. Uh, I, yes. I, I was just checking the lawn. Uh, for, for grass. Yes, it's good. It's plenty of grass here. Ah, <laughs> oh, there you are. When did you last fill Big Blue up with fuel? Um, no idea. Ages ago, I guess. That's what I thought. Looks to me as if his fuel tanks run dry. That's why he won't start. I don't believe it. How could I be so stupid? Righto, start him up. 
Thank you, Nicola. I'm so sorry, everyone. I, I've been very silly. So have I, for that matter. It's easily done. Anyway, Dad, Big Blue won't need another service for ages now that you've stripped him down and rebuilt him. That's true. <laughs> Thank you, Walter. I have been a complete nuisance and wasted everybody's time today. I don't know how to thank you all. We could all get out of the rain for a start. Well, everyone, Big Blue's filled up, and now so are we. Yeah, you bet. And the hay is safely in. I want to thank you all for helping, but especially those who made it possible. Stan and Little Red Tractor! <laughs> All in a day's work. And we've enjoyed it, haven't we, Little Red Tractor? <laughs> I've got you polished so brightly I can see my face in you, Little Red Tractor. Not a pretty sight. <laughs> Hi, Stan. Hi, Little Red Tractor. Hello, you two. Just in time. In time? What for? For a ride on Little Red Tractor's trailer. Great! Yeah! Good. Well, I've got to take some milk to Mr Jones, so you've come just at the right time. That's a lot of milk for one day, isn't it? Yeah. We usually only have three pints. <laughs> oh, he needs a lot of milk for making cheese with. OK, hop on and let's get on with our milk delivery. What's that? This, Thomas, my boy, is what is going to win me second prize at the Babblebrook Cheese Festival. Second prize? But, well, who's going to win first prize, then? Well, me, of course. I've created a new blue cheese. Blue cheese? Uh. <laughs> it's not blue all the way through, Thomas. It just has bits of blue in it where the special mould forms. Mould? It... You mean you make mouldy cheese on purpose and... and people eat it? Not only eat it, Thomas, but relish it. Savour it. Mwah. Here, try a piece. Pwah, what a pong! <laughs> oh, no, this is delicious! <laughs> Think I'd rather eat smelly old socks. Morning, Mr Jones. Got that milk you... Wow! That's a cheese and a half. I am rather pleased with it. And seeing as you are here, Stan, perhaps you could help me get it onto Big Blue's trailer. <laughs> Be glad to. Blue cheese? Yeah. The blue bits are mouldy. Uh, who'd want to eat mould? Not me. Hey, why don't you come and play at our house? Mum's making normal cheese sandwiches for lunch. Oh, yes, please. Jones here. Speak to me. Ah, Walter. Some of my cheddar. Oh, yes. Be glad to drop some round, yes. But I'll have to be quick. Important cheese business to attend to. Mm-hmm. No, no, OK. See you later. Uncle Jasper, can I go and play with Ryan and Amy? Yes, yes, yes. Go, go. I... I... Uh, w I mean, as, as, as long as your mother doesn't mind, Amy. <laughs> no, she'll be fine. We'll just get the milk down and then I'll take you to Rose Cottage. Walter! Walter, I've got your cheese. Nicola, Walter, anyone at home? Mm -hmm. Looks like a note. Dear Mr. Jones, I've gone to take Nicola to friends. Sorry if I missed you. Your friend Walter. P.S. Don't forget the cheese. Well, it's the only reason I came here, Walter. Here it is, and a spot of Babelbrook blue for him to try as well. Well, that's what I call a cheese. Now, yeah, Walter, cheese as ordered and a little surprise. Sure, you won't stay for lunch, Stan? Very kind of you, but I need to go and get some fuel for Little Red Tractor. Besides, I had a big breakfast this morning. Come on, Little Red Tractor, let's go. 
Hello? Anyone at... Oh, what a smell! Walter? Walter? Hello, mate. Hope you've not been waiting to... Oh, Stan? It's nothing to do with me or my socks. Phew! Phew's right! I wonder. It couldn't be the drains, could it? Smells bad enough. Perhaps I should take a look. But that'll mean digging them up. I know, but this stench will put me out of business. Here, lend me a hand, will you, Stan? Well, OK, Walter. Thanks, mate. Hmm, time's getting long. I suggest we take a shortcut, big Hey, this is the life I never. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh, hey, what? Look out, Nipper! <laughs> Faster, Nipper! Faster. Oh, look, it's Stumpy. What's that behind him? Oh, my. Look out, Stumpy. Hey, oh, oh, oh. Oh. oh, no. Are you all right, Stumpy? Oh, just fine, thank goodness. I'll just... <laughs> I think I'm stuck. What's Stumpy doing in the greenhouse? He's stuck. <sighs> well, well. Poor Stumpy, imprisoned by a cheese. <sighs> Better go and get some help, then. Still no sign of anything. And the smell's just as bad. Oh, don't I know it. Oh, Stan, spot a bother back home. Stumpy's stuck in the greenhouse. Big cheese blocking the, uh, the, uh, the, uh... Ooh. Oh, no, the smell's getting worse. <laughs> Well, I know my trainers are a bit on the whiffy side, but I didn't realise they were that bad. Sorry. No, Mr Turvey, it's... Still no time to worry about that. Give them a wash when we sort Stumpy out. The trainers, that is. Right now, we need you and Little Red Tractor to give us a hand with the cheese. Ah, bit of a problem, Mr Turvey. Little Red Tractor won't be able to get across the trench we've dug. Yes. Was meaning to ask you about that. Walter, have you got a couple of stout planks? <laughs> OK, Little Red Tractor, steady as you go. That's it. Easy does it. Made it. OK, now to deal with this cheese. That's it, Stumpy. Have you out in no time now. Good! It's getting hot in here. Oh, thanks, Stan. Thanks, Little Red Tractor. I should think you could do with a nice cold drink, Stumpy. Oh, <laughs> not half. And how about you, Stan? Thanks, but I've got to get back to Walter. And I think that belongs to Mr Jones. Afternoon, Walter. Um, oh, hello, Mr Jones. What's up? Someone has stolen my prize cheese. I was taking it to the cheese festival, and when I got there, it was gone. Walter, what... Ah, are you up to? Digging up the drains. I'm trying to find out what's making that horrible pong. Horrible pong? Walter, that is the unmistakable aroma of Babblebrook Blue. You what? My new cheese. I dropped a spot of it around to you, but you were out. I put it on the... Uh, oh. Ah, here we are. You mean that... That smell is... is cheese? Babblebrook Blue. <laughs> My big cheese. Yes, your big cheese. It must have rolled away. Caused quite a... <coughs> oh. <coughs> quite a bit of... <coughs> bother. Walter, the smell's getting worse. At least we know now what it is. It is that. <coughs> it was his smelly cheese, all that digging for nothing. Well, I do seem to have been the cause of a certain amount of, um... Well, sorry. Uh, perhaps I can help you fill the trench, Becky. No, no, no! <laughs> Please, just go away and take your cheese with you. It's making my eyes water. Fine, I know when my cheese is not appreciated. Here you go, Stan. No, I mean... <coughs> um, I... Well, I thought... Oh, oh, I thought Little Red Tractor and I would drop your big cheese to the festival for you. Oh, no, thank you. And I can't really carry that blue cheese oh, and drive at the same time. Not to worry. I left a big slice of it on your kitchen table earlier. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm sorry, should have put it in the fridge. <laughs> oh, never mind. I'm not kidding, home! Oh, no. They must have stunk out my whole house by now. Looks like I'll be spending the night with you in your barn, little red tractor. <laughs> There. That's the last of them, Little Red Tractor. And now, off back home for a spot of lunch. Where's Dan and Little Red Tractor then, Patch? Hmm. Not telling, eh? Or maybe you can't tell. Perhaps they've gone on a secret mission and you've been told not to say anything. How exciting! Ooh. What are they doing? You can tell me. I won't snitch. Honest. Stan, Little Red Tractor, where have you been? Was it a really big adventure? Oh, not really. It's something I do every year, bringing the straw in. Oh, but Patch said that... I mean, um, Mum asked if you'd like to come over to us for tea. We'd love to, wouldn't we, Little Red Tractor? <laughs> Just as soon as I've got these bales unloaded. By the way, where's Ryan today? Oh, he's gone for a run. With Dad and Thomas. I didn't fancy it much. Not surprised. Here, we'd better take some straw for your mum. What for? Aha, uh -huh. she'll tell you. Come on, you two, or the ghost of Tawny Owl Wood will catch you up. Ghost? What ghost? There's an old folk tale says there's a ghost in Tawny Owl Wood supposed to guard the Tree of Life. Tree of Life? What's that? There, over there. When the moon shines its light on the leaves of that tree, gather them up quickly, cos they've got the power to stop you growing old, but you've got to be quick or the ghost will get you. At least that's how the story goes. Come on, quick, before it spots us. A ghost? Wow! So that's why Stan brought the straw. That's right. Corn dollies. I make them every year, don't I, Stan? That's right. What's it for? It's an old country custom. You weave straw from the last sheaf of the harvest into a shape like this, and it's supposed to mean that you'll get a good crop next year. Of course, it's probably just superstition. Uh, yes, <clears throat> just like the ghost of Tawny Old Wood. You mean... <sighs> you mean it's just a story? The ghost? Of course it is. No such thing as ghosts. But there is such a thing as cheese and pickle sandwiches. Time for tea, I think. <laughs> yes. Be careful! Uh, oh, sorry, Elsie. A uh, bit of an accident. You're the accident, Stumpy. Now get after my sheets and stuff. And when you've found them, you've got some washing to do. Right here. Oh, Stumpy. Thanks for the tea. And thanks for the corn, Dolly, Mrs. Turvey. <laughs> Bye. 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 Can't understand how it happened, Walter. Big Blue just ran out of diesel. Yeah, you know I always think the fuel gauge is a help when you want to know how much you've got in the tank. I can't keep an eye on everything, Walter. I'm a very busy man. Oh, of course, Mr. Jones. There. Hi, Uncle Jasper. Ah, Thomas, just in time. Your mum and dad will be here to collect you soon. Look, Mr. Toby's made you a corn dolly. A dolly? What do I want with a? You're all right. I mean, it's, that's very nice of her. We can hang it in the barn. Here. Hi, Mr. Walter. What are you doing here? Mr. Line. Jones ran out of diesel again. A ghost? That's what Mr. Turvey told me. It guards the tree of life in Tawny Hour. Tree of life? What's that? Oh, it's, it's this tree. It's supposed to keep you forever young. Really? You gather the leaves when they're lit by moonbeams and they keep you young forever. Well, the thing that keeps me young is a good night's sleep. And it's about time I was off home. See ya. Bye, Stan. Tree of life, eh? People pay good money for something like that. Well, Walter, how about a moonlight expedition to Tawny Owl Wood? Yeah. Tell you what, I'll just nip back, tell Nicola I'm out for the evening, and we'll go and have a look, see, eh? But you better watch out for the ghosts! <laughs> <laughs> ghosts? <laughs> the boy's got a point. We'd better keep our eyes peeled. Yeah. No, oh, oh, I've not found half else he's washing yet, and it's getting dark. Oh. oh. <laughs> 
Ow! Oh! Oh! Oh, my foot! Stupid tree stump! Ow! Oh! 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 Ah! Ow! OK, Walter, you got everything. Nice big bag for the leaves. Check. Torch. Check. Anti-ghost powder. Anti-ghost powder? Yeah. And it must be good, too. You seen any ghosts? <laughs> <laughs> Very amusing, Walter. Now, best foot forward and let's find that tree of life. Which way now? Well, according to what Thomas told me, um, that way. <clears throat> I feel... What was that? Ah, don't do that, Mr Jones. Did you hear it? Hear what? That? Well, it's just a badger or something. Come on, Mr Jones, nothing to be scared of. Scared? Who's scared? Uh, scared? There! Look over there, Walter! The Tree of Life! Oh, yeah! Aye, it does look sort of magic. Right. Let's get harvesting. Ha! Ah! There it is again. It's... Ah! It's the ghost. The ghost. Help! Ah! 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 It's the ghost. It's the ghost. Help! Which... Which way? Where... Where did we... We come from? What are we... Mr. Jones? Mr. Jones? Are you down there? Yes, of course I'm down here, and it's too deep to climb out of. Get help quickly before the ghost finds me and and oh, just help! The ghost? Oh, I, I, I'll go and get a rope or something, and I'll be right back. You 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 stay where you are. Stay where you are, he said. Ha! Stan, Stan, come quick! Walter, is that you? Stan, you, you got help. It's, it's Mr. Jones. He's, he, he's fallen down a hole, and, 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 and there's a ghost. Calm down. Come inside and tell me all about it. No, 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 no. it's no time for that. You've got to come and, and bring little red tractor and a rope. <laughs> a ghost? Are you sure? I saw it with my own eyes, Stan. All white and ghostly. Mr. Jones? Stan, is that you? Yes, hang on. We've come to get you out. Thank goodness the ghost could be back at any moment. Grab hold of this. Grab hold of what? Ouch! Careful! Sorry. OK, Walter. Now watch out for Mr. Jones. That's it. Keep him coming, little red tractor. Now steady. Steady. There. We've done it, Stan. Oh, thank you, Stan. Thanks, little red tractor. Now let's get out of here before the ghost. Oh. <laughs> it's back. It's back. It's, it's here. Stumpy. Hello, Stan. <laughs> what are you doing here? Stumpy! Oh, hello, Mr Jones. Oh, you wouldn't believe the time I've had of it been searching all over for Elsie's laundry. Stumpy toe too. Oh, and the noises I've heard tonight. Enough to turn your hair white. <laughs> if it weren't white already, that is. <laughs> what there is of... Oh, uh, what the... What? What? Have I done something I shouldn't? Am I glad to be home? And first thing in the morning, I'll be around to stump his mill to give him a piece of my mind. Another and piece? I think you gave him quite enough back there in the woods. It wasn't his fault you decided to go ghost hunting in the... 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 Mr Jones? Something the matter? Uh, it's a go... it's a go... go a go... go ah! A ghost? Uh, don't think so. It's the corn dolly. And your headlights are casting a shadow on the barn wall, little red tractor. Hold on. Did you do that on purpose? <laughs> oh, you. Morning, little red tractor. It's my day off, and as a special treat, you're going to get a full wash and polish. Now, who would be calling me on my day off? Hello? Oh, Mr Jones, how are you? Really? Oh, really? Oh, I see. We'll be right over. 
I'm sorry, but your wash and polish is going to have to wait. Mr. Jones has bought a new baler and it seems to be broken. Morning, lads! Oh, I can't understand a word of these instructions. Maybe what it needs is a little tap. Oh. Ah! Morning, Stan. Uh, sorry to bother you on your day off, but a spot of bother with the bailer here. Well, I'll be happy to have a look, Mr. Jones, but... I've tried everything, of course. Oil, fuel, and... And I'm sure you've tried pushing this. What's that? The starter. Starter? Must be your magic touch, Stan. Thank you. <laughs> well done. Is there anything I can do for you in return? Um, maybe one of those biscuits? Missed breakfast, you see. Oh, sorry, Stanley. <laughs> Last one. No, thanks. I'll be off now. I'll promise Little Red Tractor a day of pampering. Hello? Oh, hi, Laura. Really? Oh, dear. Well, of course, we'll pop over now. Hmm, problem, Stan? No. Laura has accidentally broken one of her husband's model sail ships. I'm going to pop over and try and fix it before he gets home. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go. Oh, dear. I do feel bad about spoiling Stan's deal. Morning, Veronica. Hi, Stan. Hi, Little Red Tractor. Stan, I'm so glad you're here. I know it's your day off, but... I... Oh, that's quite all right. I was only planning to give Little Red Tractor a clean and a polish. We could do that, couldn't we, Ryan? Oh, yeah. Can we? I don't see why not. Now, let's have a look at this boat. What do you think? I think I can make that as good as new. Oh, great. Well, you get yourself comfortable and I'll prepare some lunch. It's the least I can do. Oh, thanks. I'm starving. Hello. That's strange. Oh, come on, Sparky. There's nothing wrong with you. I only finished your service yesterday. Oh, no! I don't believe it. You've run out of petrol. Oh, what am I like? It won't be long before you're back on the road. I've been told you... Hello? You've broken down? In our breakdown truck? Oh, my, you are in a pickle. What was what noise? Oh, uh, 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 nothing, nothing. Uh, well, I can't leave the garage just now. Well, call Stan or Mr. Jones. Well, they'll be sure to give you a tow bag. Well, must get on. Uh, see you shortly. Stop that now. But, Stan, you can't go without any lunch. Well, Nicola has run out of petrol, I'm afraid. She needs a tow back to the garage. I'll grab a snack later. Oh. Poor Stan. This is supposed to be his day off. Sorry, we've got another job. But what about his wash? We've only just started. I know. It's been that kind of a day, I'm afraid. Come on, little red tractor. Nicola needs our help. Thanks for fixing the boat, Stan. My pleasure. See you later. Bye. Poor Stan works far too hard. Now he's missed his lunch. And little red tractor missed his wash. Stan will do anything for anybody. Well, maybe we could do something for him. Like what? We could fix him up a lovely supper. And I could pick him some of my flowers. We should do something for Little Red Tractor too. Hmm, I think I've got an idea. Not long now. Stan's on his way and we'll get you home. Hi, Dad. No, he's on his way. Should be here any second. 
I've been speaking to Laura Turvey, and do you know, Stan has spent his whole day off helping just about everyone. What clanking? Anyway, we were thinking we should organise a little surprise. So I need you to hold him up for a while, OK? Hold him up? That shouldn't be a problem. Am I glad to see you. Thanks for coming out. No problem. Did you bring a tow rope? Better than that. I stopped off at the farm and brought you a can of petrol so we can get you home quicker. Oh, uh, yes. That was a good idea. So we'll be on our way in no time, eh? Great. What was that? My stomach. Sorry, it's just every time I've planned to eat today, something has happened to stop me. I'm starving. Oh, and now I've held you up. I'll make it up to you, I promise. No problem. I'm supposed to delay him. Must think of something. Oh. Stan, let me get the petrol cab off for you. Oh, I don't seem to be able to unscrew it. Well, here, let me have a go. How strange. It's not locked, is it? Locked? No, I don't think so. Oh, fit for a king. Little Red Tractor won't believe his eyes when he sees this. How are we doing with the supper? All finished. Well done, you two. Stan will love this. We have all of his favourites. Thanks, Dad. We'll be there in about five minutes. We've got the all clear now. Maybe it's time to unlock the petrol cap. Um, sorry, Nicola. I've tried just about everything to get this thing off. Let me have one more go. Maybe you've loosened it. Look! Well done. You're stronger than you look. Wow, how about that? Well, now we can get the petrol in and all get home. I'm so hungry. Stan, I hate to be a nuisance, but would you follow me back to the garage just in case anything else happens? Well, I'm sure you'll be fine now. Oh, please. OK. I can't wait to see his face. Stan won't believe it. Wait, I think I can hear them. Welcome to the Beach Garage wash and polish service for very special red tractors. What's all this? Well, we decided that both of you are always doing things for us and it was about time we did something in return. Oh, that's great, but you didn't have to. We wanted to. Now, if you'll leave little red tractor here, I have another surprise for you. Good evening, sir. Welcome to the Beach Garage Cafe. Oh, this is fantastic. And I am starving. We can soon take care of that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a tractor to polish. Well, of course. This is to say thank you for always being so willing to help any of us when we need you. I grew the flowers myself. And I laid the table. The lemonade is from Mr Jones, and I've made the cakes with the flour from Stumpy's windmill. Something from everyone. Well, I'll never forget this day off, that's for sure. How are you doing, little red tractor? 